Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. It is another bootleg bonanza courtesy of Sir Toys. In today's video I'm taking a look at the Black Mamba KO of the Studio Series Overload. It's exactly what it says on the tin. It is basically just a copy of Overload done at a much, much, much more affordable price. It's a really nice, big, solid piece. Uh, some people have said that theirs are loose. Uh, I've got two of these, neither of which are loose at all. They're both uh, do exactly what they're meant to. Not a bad piece. Uh, some people were curious as to whether it comes with the Mixmaster section. Yes, yes it does. That just tabs in. Obviously it's not essential to have that tabbed in. You can just have it as the loader piece at the back there, but it's a nice big solid uh, what was he classed as was he a leader i think he was i think he was a leader studio series and in terms of characters thus far we've got five of the eight so we're doing pretty well we're just missing uh, three more so uh, hopefully they'll come soon but really excited to get this one completed uh, hopefully the dna upgrade kits will fit on this bootleg as well i shouldn't see why they wouldn't because they are pretty much identical so I'm uh, really looking forward to that. But yeah, these all look sensational together. And these are really crazy affordable. And downside to these really is they don't come with instructions. But then again, it's not the most complexing of transformations really on the grand scheme of things. Uh, we have his head on the underside there. Look, that's just going to come up through those legs. And uh, plug in to that chest panel, like so. And these are exactly like I said, these are in fact legs. Uh, they're just gonna separate and come down. The wheels will come up to the side and rotate. These panels will come backwards, freeing up the space for these to come up fully. And the feet will come down. We're gonna flip the heel spurs out. So again, on this side, bring this panel back, bring this one up and around, straighten off the legs, straighten off the feet, and bring the toes all the way around. Already starting to come together, isn't he? Oh. At this point, we can split those panels, bring these arms down. Lots and lots of uh, different things going on here. These can split like so bring this one down oh, crazy tight joint and uh, this is going to split again like so and then we can bring these arm pieces inwards and down and inwards and down, straighten off that head. Do the same with this side. We can bring these arms down and down and down and bring this around. So we can bring these slightly further forward. So bring that around and there we go. And then bring this piece at the back here upwards like so and then making sure that this is slid all the way over to this side it should line up nicely to the back here like so and then on top like that and there we have Overload in his robot mode. By goodness me, look at the detailing on that. Oh, that looks sublime. I mean, I love how this guy looks, I do, but I cannot wait for the oversized version of this. That's going to look absolutely sensational. What have we got? We've got up and down, left and right on the head there. Rotation in here, rotation up here, bends on the elbow, claws. Again, bends over here. Uh, no 
waist rotation in there, but we do have legs that can come forwards and backwards out to the side, upper thigh rotation. We have a bend on that knee. We have a knee guard which can move up and down. And we have some pivoting on those ankles as well. We can bring this piece up, we can bring that piece down. It's entirely dependent on how you want to position your figure, but he is a good looking bot. Here we have him with the rest of his team. They really are coming together now, aren't they? Really looking forward to getting all of these together. Uh, I won't do a combined form for him yet. I'll do a completely combined video uh, where I'll take you from the vehicle mode, etc., into the combined form. I'll do that as a separate video when we get all of the KO Studio Series figures in together. But yeah, these are really fun pieces. Uh, I do love what the uh, Studio Series are doing, especially the Studio Series 86. They look fantastic. But imagine if we get some of those oversized, that's gonna kind of eradicate the need for masterpiece figures, in my opinion. Because that hot rod and the cup, oh, magnifique. Thanks again to Sir Toys for making this video possible. I have included a link in the description below where you can get all of these. Uh, so just click through to your heart's content. And uh, for myself and the rest of the collectibles household, thank you all very much for watching.